the camera is arguably one of the most important of all inventions. It is the single tool that has the ability to stop time, record history, generate art, tell stories, and communicate messages that transcend language like nothing else ever conceived. On May 15, 2012, thousands of people worldwide have taken out their cameras to document a slice of their lives to preserve as a time capsule for future generations. We went to Miyagi Prefecture, in the heart of the area affected by the devastating earthquake and tsunami on March 11, 2011, to follow a small group of children in the town of Ishinomaki, documenting their day. Even thought more than a year has passed, it seems that this tragedy has happened just yesterday. Many villages have been but completely wiped out from the map, and even larger cities like Ishinomaki has suffered devastating blows, and the reminders are all around us. Endless piles of destroyed and abandoned cars are only towered by mountains of garbage. That is all that remains from the thousands of households. Where they used to stand, Barren land dotted by exposed foundations gives us a glimpse to the scale of what has happened here. Mr. Tego Kikuta from local NPO concierge Ishinomaki have arranged for us to meet Kento, Takumi, Shingo, and Lina at a local kimono shop, Kiyoya, that has only just been renovated after it was completely destroyed by the tsunami. Canon kindly provided their cameras for this project, and we were joined by seasoned journalists and photographers like Everett Kennedy Brown, Junko Kato, and Masaki Ikagami, who helped the children to understand as much as they could in such a limited time what photography is and how to use the cameras. And just like the tsunami, the children, unstoppably, went into the surrounding streets and started taking pictures. The awe and playful energy shining from them as they got their first taste of photographic experience was unmistakable. Through the camera, they saw the surrounding world as they had never seen it before. It wasn't long before they had to go to school, but even there was no stopping them and their cameras. Watching them enjoy the after-school activities with their friends in such a playful fashion, it is easy to forget the tragedy that they went through not so long ago. Several tsunamis up to 10 meters high traveled inland for three miles, and every child here has lost either a close family member or someone they knew. In Ishinomaki alone, more than 3,000 people lost their lives, and close to 3,000 more are still missing. 30,000 lost their homes. Nearby Okawa Elementary School was completely destroyed, killing 70 of 108 students and 10 out of 13 teachers and staff. And barely five minutes away lay what remains of Kalinawaki Elementary School. What was not swept away by the tsunami was burned in the fire that engulfed the remains for days after the disaster. The children approached the school with caution and respect and also a fear as stories of ghosts haunting these places are all about. But perhaps it was the point of view of the cameras on their necks that allowed them to see this sacred place through different perspectives and slowly they started to explore the grounds. Soon they were tired and put down the cameras for a moment of play in the schoolyard and what remains of the swimming pool, oblivious to the distractions surrounding them. But it wasn't long before they grabbed the cameras again to capture a few more photos of the school in the fading light of the sunset. The image of the children playfully taking photos surrounded by such a destruction, will forever be burned into our minds. It reminds us that life goes on and how resilient Japanese people are. We have nothing but respect and admiration for these people. With all they have been and still are going through, they remain composed and somehow find the strength and willingness to look forward to a hopefully brighter future. This day was all about that.